simple drills to complex designs that you can climb right along with me. And we're gonna have so much fun! Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on today's episode of Deep in the Kitchen, a beautiful coin creme brulee! Gentlemen, your guests are going to be so very impressed when you bust this out at the end of the meal. And you're like, who wants dessert, baby? So we're all going to come flocking to it, and you're going to be the one that takes all the cookies, okay? All right, here's the ingredients. I'm going to leave this here so you can jot them down. Okay, and everybody knows it's standard. you got to wash your hands, because nobody wants to get sick from your terrible disease that you get. Now we got some heavy cream, just gonna take this and we're gonna dump it in. Or pour it in very slowly, whichever you like, I like to dump the dough. Yeah, now we're gonna add, start adding those sweet flavors. We're gonna add some vanilla extract, just plop it in there, okay? Yep, now we gotta add some salt, give it a teaspoon. All right, now we're going to add some logs of corn. You can add one or two. If you add two, you're going to have more of a corn flavor, okay? Let's just saw this down. All right, when you take it, in, we're going to plump it in there, plump it in there. You can add the stock, too, and that'll give it some good flavors. All right, now we're just going to take that, put it right on the stove, okay? We're going to turn it on low till it's low simmer. We're going to leave it until it simmers, yeah. And after a while, it should look kind of like this with little tiny bubbles. And you go in there and you can smash that corn down onto the stove with it, whatever you want. You can smash it with a hammer if you want. It might be really messy. Right, go ahead and clean your thing off, and then we're going to turn off the stove. And then now we're going to start adding our eggs. we got five egg yolks. Okay, just take them one at a time and just get the whites out and put them in our separate bowl, okay? And then now we're going to add a half of a cup of sugar. And then we're going to stir it around, get it all mixed up, baby. Stir it around, stir it. Stir it like you mean it. Come on. Then after a while, it's going to start to look really, really creamy and delicious. Like you want to eat the whole thing like it's ice cream. But don't, okay? We're going to save it. And then we're going to take that, our original concoction with the corn, and we're going to dump it into there, okay? And it's going to be really delicious. It's going to start to smell unbelievable. All right, now we're going to take that corn, and we're just going to smash it to pieces. Smash it in there. You want to smash the juices out. The juices is what we want. That's the good stuff. Now we're going to take that and add it to the egg mixture that we had, okay? Stir it, stir it, stir it, baby. Stir it, stir it. Oh, yeah. And make sure you add a little bit at a time because if you add it all at once, you're going to end up with scrambled eggs and you're going to be so mad with the result. It's going to taste terrible. All right, now we're going to turn on our oven to 325. Hit the start button. Okay, now we're going to get some ramekins and just put them in a little container like that. All right, just, just pour a mixture straight in there. Don't fill it up too high, okay? We're going to leave some room at the top. All right, then we're just going to sit those right in the oven, okay? And then now we're just going to grab a little bit of water and put it in there so that it doesn't burn. If we, if we leave it in there without it, it's going to burn. It's going to taste like poop, and you're going to wonder why, okay? Don't do that. All right, then we're going to set the timer for about... i do it for 35, okay? In between 30 and 40. Just check after about 30 minutes. 
away. Then when that's done, you're just going to take it out and just make sure you put something to protect your hands. If you grab the cups, you're going to get terrible burns all over your hands and you're going to have to probably go to the hospital again. We don't want to do that. Just sit them on the side. Let them cool off. Let them cool and refrigerate, okay? All right, and then here's the most fun part of this dish. This is, this is so fun. If you have little kids, you can let them do this part, okay? Let them put the sugar in and let them swirl it around. And then this part, you don't want to let them do because you're going to have to be holding fire. You got to do this part, but they're like putting the sugar in. And then they're going to be mad at you because you didn't let them do it. It's going to be fantastic. What we're doing here is we're creating a giant hard shell that's going to go on the outside, okay? And everybody's going to love to crack their own shell. It's going to be so much fun. I'm telling you, they're going to be like, how did you do this dish? And you're going to say, you know what? I watched this show called Deep in the Kitchen with Mahini McJohnson, baby. And you don't want to burn it too much. And watch this, ready? Crap. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I tell you, your guests are just going to have their minds blown, okay? All right, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have a beautiful corn creme brulee. It's not so healthy. It's a dessert, but you're going to feel healthy, so it's, you're going to want to eat more of it. But that's good, okay? We all love this kind of stuff. All right, if you liked it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We need subscriptions. We only have 26. It's pretty embarrassing right now. Okay, I'll see you next time on Deep in the Kitchen. Peace out.